this video or look at uh, some real life applications with interest so we'll just do these two examples the first one is a savings account okay and we'll also look at uh, so simple interest at 2.5 percent and also figure out how much will be the in, the in the account at the end of the year and then a bank loan um, and figure out how much is the borrower pay in total at the end of the uh, year right okay so example one savings account how much simple interest is earned on three thousand dollars if it is invested for one year at two point five two point five percent what that means is at the end of one year the um, the uh, account earns two point five percent of what was in it okay so if there's three thousand dollars in there the interest amount is going to be what? What do you think? Hold the interest amount be. How would you calculate the interest amount? Any idea? The interest amount? Don't you have to get 2.5% of $3,000, right? So, right. So, and we've got to turn 2.5% into a decimal. How do you turn 2.5% into a decimal? You take the decimal point and move it to the left, one, two spaces, and stick in a zero, right? So that becomes 0 0.025, or 0 0.025. And it's multiply, of means multiply, so multiply by uh, 3,000, right? this times 3000 so I guess we could calculate that hmm so I guess we could do it that way why not 5 times 0 is 0 5 times 0 is 0 5 times 0 is 0 5 times 3 is 15 down a placeholder 0 2 times 0 is 0 2 times 0 is 0 2 times 0 is 0 2 times 3 is 6 I'll be careful where the units are here, huh? Or wh wh where you're placing your numbers. So, I guess I'm getting 70, 7, 5, and if we do this, 1, 2, 3 decimal places in the question, so 1, 2, 3 decimal places in the answer. And let's take a point here. That is the number 75. So, two and a half percent of three thousand dollars seems to be seventy five dollars and a nice a quick way to that that is the correct answer seventy five dollars the interest amount is seventy five dollars how much simple interest is earned on that uh, for one year the answer is seventy five dollars now t if you just want to check your answer in your head have you any idea j just uh, what is one percent of three thousand dollars. Can you take a guess at that? Take a guess. One percent of three thousand dollars. One percent is taking. If you get one percent of something, you basically multiply it by. You know, you see, one percent is one over a hundred. If you multiply this by one over a hundred, you're going to knock off a couple of zeros. So one percent of three thousand is thirty dollars. So 2%, of course, of the 3,000 would be equal to what? If 1% is $30, what's 2%? 2% of 3,000 is $60, right? So 2.5% is 2.5%, which is 75. So that looks right, doesn't it? That's just, just in case you put down something like 750, it, 750 would obviously be wrong. Or you might have put down seven dollars fifty cents, and that would obviously be wrong too. You can see that if one percent is thirty dollars, you can see the ballpark figure where you should be. Two and a half times thirty would be about seventy-five, right? Okay, how much will be in the account at the end of the year? Can you figure this one out? What did we start with? What's the original amount? $3,000, right? What was the interest? 
So we have to add on the interest. The interest was seventy-five dollars, right? And doesn't get that give us the total? So that'll be three thousand seventy-five, right? So at the end of the year, you'll have three thousand seventy-five dollars in the account. Example two, bank loan. If one thousand eight hundred dollars is borrowed at a rate of thirteen percent for one year, how much is the interest on this loan? Press pause and see if you can calculate the interest on the loan. And afterwards, you got to figure out how much does the borrower pay in total. So how would you calculate the interest? Any idea? Do you think you need to get 13% of 1800 or 1800? Yep. So turn 13% into a decimal and multiply, right? The decimal point at the moment is here. That needs to be moved over one, two spaces to the left to get point. 1, 3, or 0 0.13 multiplied by 1800. Okay. So 1800, 0 0.13 multiply. 3 times 0 is 0, 3 times 0 is 0, 3 times 8 is 24, k the 2. 3 times 1 is 3, and 2 is 5. Put down a placeholder 0 and multiply by 1. 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 8 is 8, 1 times 1 is 1. Add 0, 0, 4, 5 and 8, 13, carry the 1, and we get 2. In the question I had 1, 2 decimal places, so I need 1, 2 in the answer. 2, 3, 4.00, or 234. 13% of $1,800 turned out to be uh, two hundred and thirty four dollars. How much is the interest? The interest is two hundred and thirty four dollars. Okay. How much does the borrower pay in total then if the interest is two hundred and thirty four? Well, they've got to pay back the original amount plus they have to pay back the interest, right? And then that'll give them the total amount that needs to be paid back. What was the original amount? Original amount was 1800, right? 1800. What was the interest? 234. So the total has to be 4 3 carry the 1 2034, right? The borrower needs to pay back 2034.